Hi everyone, welcome to the channel and another Fluval Evo 13.5 Marine video. So, in this video, we're going to give you a little um, update and what's new in the tank. So, let's flip the camera around, take a look, uh, show you what's new and what's coming in future episodes um, of this marine tank so first up is the brand new wave maker um this is just a budget wave maker i do plan on getting a jbo wave maker in the future but this is a sec or sink um voyager nano wave maker there um i definitely i'm going to get a jbo or a wave maker that's more of a disc that I can place around much better than this chunky thing, but it's there, um, there in the corner for now, and it's doing the job. Um, and also, we have a new coral. We have the Anthelia, the waving hand coral, a bit like the pulsing Xenia, but this is um, longer, and rather than pulse, it waves. Um, so we have a new coral. Nemo is loving his new tank. They've just been fed. Toadstool coral, flashlight toadstool, is just finishing its shedding process. Uh, yes, um, soft corals like your finger corals and your toadstool corals do shed their skin. So it's just going through that process at the moment. Duncans are doing great. And the normal Duncan. And the other Duncan are doing marvellous. That Duncan's got more heads than the other Duncan, because that Duncan's a lot older than that Duncan. Crabby's on top of there. Lovely bit of green coral line on the rocks. Getting a bit of algae on the front of the glass. So I've definitely got to get a scraper. But a little bit of algae don't um, hurt. It's not too much algae. Just little bits on the glass. Um, which obviously the snails will pick up, but apart from that, all is looking well in the marine tank so far. Some people are not going to like the aquascape, but I love it much more. I've got much more of an open space aquascape with little um, crevices for Nemo to sleep in and hide. Um, next up on the list um, will be a new pump. A bit of much more better pump because I'm still using the stock pump that came with it. Uh, the other pump I was going to use, the Eheim, it packed up in the end, so I've had to use the stock pump. So, still a few more upgrades. I want to get the media. I don't, I'm not worried about that chamber. That chamber is all my loose various uh, bio media, so I'm going to leave that chamber how it is. But I do want to get the media basket for the middle chamber, um, a new pump. Obviously, a wave maker that's a bit smaller than that, and it's not an eye source, it must be a JBO, which also comes with a controller and pulses. Uh, coral wise, I think I want to get one more coral, which will be either a torch and hammer. I've tried isolating the Anthelia over here. Obviously, Anthelia is like green star polyps and your pulse ingenia that it will um grab onto anything and overrun the tank if you're not careful so i've kept it isolated on here for now so i definitely want to get a torch coal or potentially hammer coal over this area so that way if this coal does try to get invasive it gets stung and held back by the um hammer I'm still using the all for one, still doing good. So that's the update. Doing well, can't wait for this to fully grow. It's getting there, the Duncans are looking lovely, especially the Duncan on the top of the structured one that's got three heads. That one's newer, so that's got to grow and start getting heads. And the Anthelia obviously will grow um, a lot more bigger than that and spread 
Let me know, people, if you think I've got too much flow on the anthelia. Maybe if I need to turn the flow down. And Nemo, you're doing great. Nemo, I'm not getting any more fish. Nemo's happy on his own with the snails and the crab. That's the second crab um, I bought. Unfortunately, the first crab Nemo decided to kill. It went to look for a new shell and couldn't find a new shell. So Nemo munched it. But we've got spare shells in there now. I've got about five more shells for it. And the snails are somewhere in there. Uh, three turbo snails. So yeah, no coralline algae on the back yet. We have got green coralline on the rocks. And yes, it is coralline. Some people can say it's algae or detritus. No, but it's definitely coralline. So all in all, looking good. So there will be a cinematic at the end. Nemo is loving the tank. I love Nemo, his quality. I don't mind Nemo being on his own. And just having one fish, my cleanup crew, and obviously corals. I don't mind that at all. And like I said, um, the aquascape, I've gone for more of an openish. Some people are not going to like the aquascape, but I love it. Toadstool is going to grow massive. Hence why it's on that kind of rock there. Duncans are on their own little structure. Then Anphelia there, and I've got some more rock over in the corner uh, for when I get a hammer or a torch. So let me know in the comments which one you think will be better. I personally are gearing towards more the torch, the torch because it's got longer tentacles, and Nemo will love going in and out the torch. So yeah, that's an update, and obviously there will be a cinematic at the end. What you doing, Nemo? What you doing? <laughs> Nemo's quality. Full of character, ain't you, buddy? Yeah, you just been fed. Yep, yeah, you just been fed. You're looking good. No signs of illness. Eating lovely. <laughs> looking good, Nemo. As always everybody, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed the video, if you want to see some more tarantula videos or aquarium videos then it would be awesome if you could subscribe, leave a like and leave a comment as it really does help the channel out and stay tuned for some awesome videos coming soon.
Bye for now, everybody.